Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and as you probably know by now Apple has released the second beta of iOS 14. So in this video, we're going to take a look at more than 50 new features and changes that iOS 14 beta 2 will bring to your device. Starting things off with the picture in picture mode. Now on picture in picture with iOS 14, now you can just tap that little arrow to show the video. Now once you hide it, you just tap right there to show the video. On beta 1, you had to drag this. Now you can just tap there to show it. Also, you will have three gestures here, basically three different modes modes using the double tap gesture so you can see right here it will go to three different sizes simply by double tapping there so we have the small one the middle one and then we have the bigger one on the app library on beta 2 if you go to search for one of your apps and one of your apps is uploaded from your device then you will see the icon right here now it's also much easier to delete apps from the app library simply 3d touch on them and you will have the delete button another thing that you will notice is that now you cannot remove move from the app library apps that are official from apple of course stock apps so if i try to remove here you can see settings from the app library or app store it won't allow me to do that so that's really really cool also when opening apps you will see a new animation here on the app library now it used to be like a sliding animation now you will have that new animation and you will also see social here now this replaces references and reading now it's called social and apple has also like rearranged all the folders here on the app library of iOS 14 beta 2. Now, of course, changes on the home screen as well. Now, when you go to delete one of your apps, you will see that by tapping remove there, you will see remove from the home screen. Now, previously it used to be add to library now that has been changed. Also, you will be able to now hide the watch app. You couldn't do this on beta one now the watch app and the fitness app can also be removed from the home screen also dragging apps to folders it's much easier now so i've noticed this when you want to drag an app to the folder or drag apps from the app library out of the app library of course and to the home screen it's much much easier so simply tap on of course on them and drag them now this is used to be the gesture on beta one as well but now it does it way way faster now of course changes on the widgets as well we have a new one for the files app which shows you recent files you have this 2x4 layout and you can have another one which is the 4x4 which is the biggest widget that you can have on the home screen of course it shows the recent files and you can open them from here we have a change on the notes widget here the new icon right there and also now it shows three recent notes a change here on the reminders widget as well on the smaller one it will show you your most recent reminder instead of just showing the number right there now when you go to edit one of your smart stacks you will see a change here so if you go to edit stack now you will have there the button which used to be down at the bottom right here now they have switched places and you will also have an x button right there once you're done to of course remove that from here when you want to add a new widget you will notice that the add widget button now takes the color of the app's icon so you can see right here if i go to podcast that will be purple and it looks pretty cool Another very welcome change on the series suggested apps on the widget, of course, you will now see badges on the apps, of course, if there are any notifications on the apps. And now on the smaller weather widget, you will see upcoming weather events. Of course, if there are any, they will be displayed right here. There are more changes on the home screen. The icon for the clock app has been updated as well as the calendar icon. Now it just displays three letters instead of just showing the complete name of the day. Also, there is an updated battery indicator when you plug in your device to charge. And if you go to the spotlight search and you have your suggestions there, if you just like force touch on the suggestion, you can get this new button to show less suggestions like that, which is really, really cool. Also, if you go to any of your apps, and your launch series you will notice that the blur on the background there is way better now it shows way less blur not that gray blur that it used to show on beta 1. when you go to the control center you will see a few changes here as well the icon there for the camera has been changed now on ios 14 when an app is using your camera or your mic it will display it here now we have an updated icon we have a teal color right here for the sleep mode which is new and also the home here has been added back to control center so if you use the home now you can add it back to the control center which was missing on beta 1. 
You know that on iOS 14, when you paste a text, it will show you that notification right there, which shows you from where you're pasting that text. Now that text is smaller and of course will show much more text there because of the smaller font. The weather app now shows more details, so more accurate details regarding your location. So it will basically even show you details regarding the street that you're in, not just the city. The health app will show you now hand washing data. If you tap right there and go here, you will also see a new article for hand washing, which of course is really, really important. So go ahead and check that out on the health app on beta 2 of iOS 14. On the iMessage app, when you want to send photos to someone, it will show right there, select up to 20 items. Now this is new and it will just basically show you the amount of images that you can send with an iMessage. On beta 2, when you edit a video and you tap the done button, now you will see this new pop-up right here to save video as new clip or save as video. Now the options have been here, but it has been redesigned. On the reminders app, we now have a new icon right there for the reminders, which indicates the current date. Also, when you want to set a new reminder, now you will get the new time picker that we get on iOS 14. Now this hasn't, hasn't been updated on the reminders app on beta 1 and now it has on beta 2. On the reminders app, we now have a new icon right there for the reminders, which indicates the current date. Also, when you want to set a new reminder, now you will get the new time picker that we get on iOS 14. Now this hasn't, hasn't been updated on the reminders app on beta 1 and now it has on beta 2. On the podcast app, you will notice that browse and library have switched places. On the search section on the music app, you will see a new UI right here, which allows you to basically switch between artists, albums, and all that, which is really cool. Now, we also have haptic feedback here on the music app, on the controls, and all that stuff. And also, 3D touching on any of the items will show you like a new cool animation. Also, the play button and the love button have been redesigned. Now, they are just outlined. You won't see like a solid icon. Now, by going to the settings of the music app, you will have the option here to disable the animated cover art that you get on iOS 14. Now, you can allow Wi Fi only or completely turn it off. On the Safari app, if you tap on that menu right there, you will now see here privacy report. Now this used to be tracking report, but it has changed. Also, if you go there and tap on trackers, you can see that now it works because previously if you tap right there, it wouldn't do anything. On the translate app, if you go to any of the languages right here, you can see that now it shows the country of that language. There are a few changes on the settings app. Now, if you go to update your device and you have audio playing in the background, it won't allow you to do that at all. Also, we have a fix here on the wallpaper section. So now it shows here on the preview, it shows the widgets, how it should. It won't show just the icon of the app, but it will actually show the widget right there. Also, if you go to phone, you will notice now that incoming calls and announced calls have also new icons. Now, there used to be no icons at all. Now, they have new icons, which look really cool. Going to accessibility, touch, and right here, we have back tap. Now, this is a really, really cool feature added to iOS 14. And you will notice that it's way less sensitive with iOS 14 beta 2. And I really think that's very, very good because it was very sensitive and sometimes it will basically just make the action without tapping in the back just by moving your iPhone around. Going to the privacy section, you know that we have here a new section for research sensor and usage data. Now, if you go here, and tap right there, you will see a new splash screen here. Now there are some more fixes on the widgets as well. So if you go to the widgets panel and you have the legacy widgets right here, we'll see that they are now resized. They will be the same size as the new widgets of iOS 14. Also right here, the weather app widget will not show you Cupertino all the time, not depending on which location you are that was a bug on iOS 14 beta 1 and now it will show you of course your exact location. Don't mind here that I said Cupertino because I'm not setting my current location. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are more than 50 new features and changes that Apple has added to iOS 14 beta 2. Really really cool update. Hopefully it will be really really smooth as beta 1 was. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 14 videos. Also, don't forget to share this video and leave a like. And I will see you guys on the next one.